in the class, you're looking at a, at a broad level how to make organizations work better. Over the course of the quarter, what we do is, first of all, we start off with individuals, trying to think about uh, the motivation of individuals. Why do people do what they do? Why do each of us do what we do? Uh, then we move on into cognitive style, thinking about how people think both alike and differently. We then transition into groups. Uh, it turns out there's a lot of research on groups and we can really easily improve, improve people's naive understanding of how to make a group effective. And then we move up to the level of organizations and talk about decision making within organizations. And then we look at organizational design. How, what are the different ways that organizations uh, get done whatever it is they need to do. So by going through each of those levels, the individual, the group, and the organization, you get this very comprehensive and detailed idea of how groups of people work and how you're able to solve problems with them. It isn't like many of the traditional management science and engineering courses in that it really does draw on thinking about people and thinking about different priorities and where other people might be going or what they want to do in the workplace. We study real world companies and concepts when we learn about organizational design and socialization. We look at McKinsey when we learn about um, negotiation. We look at Asia and we look at Chinese negotiation strategies and how they differ from Western negotiation strategies. So they are very real world, real time um, applications. I do lectures but I also do classroom discussions. We do role plays, video, a lot of self-discovery, experiential exercises. MS&E 180 and Kathy Eisenhardt in particular are some of the most memorable experiences from Stanford undergraduate days and grad days. Um, there's like a handful of classes that sort of last with you your whole life. And there was something incredibly exciting about that. I think it was around that class that I tried to pivot and take as many classes as I could in that field, and hers in particular, was, was most tightly coupled to the things I did in my subsequent careers. So I would say you come, you're going to get both a great deal of utility in this class, just from a you know, hardcore what can I apply to my real world life and career, but also the class is really interesting. And even though the class, as you would expect in being in the School of Engineering, emphasizes technology companies, I think the students realize that those skills apply across a range of, of settings. And, and find value in that. And there are some classes you go through and you're like, I want to learn more. I want to, I want to apply this further, as opposed to good, check, have that, and only go to the next course or the next thing, let's say, in some sequence of study. This was more like, wow, that was a goldmine of interesting topics and an inspiration that, that uh, lasts with you. There is a reason why students just continue to rave about the course, and it's very clear that Many students walk away feeling like they've learned more that's relevant to their career than they might ever learn again in a class.